Hi, this is part five of our mixing a track series. And in this video, we're going to go through the lead vocal. Um, so let's just have a listen to it to start with. Here we are, when I'm off again, going through this world, off and traveling. And I done seen some things before I've learned my lessons. I know you're tired of seeing me leave. The only way I know to give you what And in the mix. Here we are, and I'm off again. Going through this world, I'm traveling. I done seen some things. So you can hear it's very dynamic and uh, that might be an issue because usually we'll use a compressor to rein in our dynamic, but with a vocal that's that's this different in dynamic, uh, what we might find is that if we set a compressor to act on these sections, when it hits this section, it's gonna go into heavy gain reduction and we're gonna get a difference in tone. Um, and if we set the compressor just to work on these sections, we're gonna have no compression on these sections and once again, a difference in tone. So I'm going to kind of do a little bit of automation um, pre-compression. Let's just have a look at this. I'm going to add a compressor. We'll go for a very standard compressor just for the minute. Um, the OR comp. And I'll set it to manual. Four to one. Good starting point for vocal. But now you should know I won't lose my way. And to set our controls, let's start with a super long release and bring it in until we see it working with the music. But now you should know I won't lose my way. Your love always saves me. Back off our attack to let some dynamic true. But now you should know I won't lose my way. Your love always saves me. Now, Setting a faster release uh, is obviously going to get it to get out of the way quicker. The reason we're doing this and bringing it back while watching is so that we get the release at the appropriate timing for the audio. The longer the release is, the less obvious the compression is. If you want your compression to be quite obvious, which sometimes on a vocal sounds great, a quicker release will do that. Let's have a listen to a super fast release. But now you should know I won't lose my way. Your love always saves me. And then slower. But now you should know I won't lose my way. Your love always saves me. So it's a little hot. This is a quite a, a clean compressor. I'll go for a bit more extreme compression. But now you should know I won't lose my way. But now you should know I won't lose my way. You can hear there's more urgency to the, to the compression when the release is fast. So we've set it. But now you should know I won't lose my way. Your love always saves me. And then any settings after that will be for kind of our aesthetic that we want to create if we want the vocal to have an urgency to it or not. Um, so now if we listen to this complete line, but now you should know we're getting, you know, three to six dB of compression. It's not too much. But now you should know I won't lose my way. Your love always saves me. But then we double our compression when we get to the loud line. But now you should know I won't lose my way. Your love always saves me. And here. But now you should know I won't lose my way. Your love always saves me. So we're getting the compressor to work very hard in certain sections. Um, if we back off the compression. But now you should know I won't lose my way. Your love always saves me. But now you should know I won't lose my way. Your love always saves me. But um we can use it to grab the louder sections 
Uh, and this is kind of the two ways of compressing with almost all instruments is whether you want to have a high threshold um, and only grab the, le- the highest bits, in which case you want a fast attack and release so it, it can grab quick enough to catch them and get out of the way um, and a high ratio, so kind of like limiting. But now you should know I won't lose my way. Your love always saves me. But now... If we set a long release, it'll still be compressing when it gets to the line after that. But now you should know I won't lose my way. Your love always saves me. Your love always... And we don't want that because this line here, it has no compression relationship to this line, so... We want a fast release for this kind of compression. The other style of compression is to go with a low ratio, low threshold, and a slow attack and release. And now what we're going to do is have compression that's constantly on, but because our low ratio, it's going to be mild. Wherever I go, wherever I lay, but now you should know I won't lose my way. Your love always saves me. In love always saves me. Wherever I go, wherever I lay, but now you should know I won't lose my way. Your love always saves me. In love always saves me. And there are two kind of styles of compression. One is to have it constantly in compression, but a very slow and kind of um, mild compression. So you're kind of gluing it. You're just overall reducing the dynamic. Or the other way is to have an aggressive, fast compression that only works on the louder sections of, of the vocal. Um, you can see with both of these styles, if I'm to use them, they both double in compression when we get to this loud vocal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my clip gain line. Um, so every audio file has a clip gain, which we can adjust. But we can also go to our view clip clip gain line and now we can actually adjust the levels so we can turn this section up a little bit and we can turn this section down a little bit now you should know i won't lose my way your love always saves me your love always and we can see the compressor is not being driven too hard um, and so what I've done is I've actually gone through the whole vocal and I've adjusted the volumes so this this is automation that's pre-compression so it's like driving the, comp- the, the level of the vocal into the compressor when it gets too loud and would set the compressor off into too much compression I turn it down and we can also go in and turn up the tail of lines. So previously. You know I'm home. I can change that to be. You know I'm home. And aside from the background noise on this audio, which we will possibly try and get rid of later, um, you can hear that that vocal now sounds way more controlled. So I've actually uh, gone ahead and done that on a new playlist. So here we have our gains. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use both those styles of compression. So I'm going to open up a an 1176, which is a very fast and grabby compressor. And I've set it with a slow enough attack for an 1176, fast enough release. And this is just going to grab. Here we are. Well, I'm off again. Sorry, it's a bit loud. Here we are. Well, I'm off again. Going through this world, off and traveling. And I done seen some things. Before I've learned my lesson. So you can see it's just grabbing on the tops of the louder sections. And then I'm going to add in a slow compressor. So a kind of an optical. And I'm actually going to use the side chain on this 
and focus it into the mid-range. So this means that the detector is only hearing the mid-range. That's the audio being sent to the sidechain detector has been EQ'd, taking out low end and high end. So the compressor is only going to react to mid-range frequencies in the vocal. And then I'm going to set a bit of gain reduction. Here we are, well I'm off again Going through this world, off and traveling And I done seen some things Before I've learned my lessons I know you're tired of seeing me leave The only way I know to give you what you need That adds a nice sound. Now the two compressors are working together. So if I turn this one off, which was just grabbing the the very tops of the loudest sections. This one. Here we are, well I'm off again. Going through this world, off and traveling. And I done seen some things. Is getting hit harder than I'd like. Let's have a listen to it with two compressors and watch the gain reduction on our, our BX Opto. Here we are, well I'm off again. Going through this world, off and traveling. And I done seen some things Before I've learned my lesson And between the two of them, I'm getting both styles of compression. I'm getting the grabbing of the, the loudest sections and bringing them down, and I'm also getting the rounding out of the softer style compression. Um, I'm going to turn these off and do a bit of EQing. So once again, let's get rid of what we don't need. Here we are through this world. There is nothing traveling. really going on down, but down that way. I done seen some things before I've learned my lessons. I know you're tired of seeing me leave. The only way I know to give you what you need. So please hold on tight. I want you're on my mind for you. I will. I want a nice bright vocal on this. Um, I'm going to just have a look and see if there's anything nasty up there. Here we are, well I'm off again. Going through this world, off and traveling. And I done seen some things. Before I've learned my lessons. I know you're tired of seeing me leave. The only way I know to give. It's quite harsh there. Here we are, well I'm off again. So we really have our vocal detail around here. Here we are, well I'm off again. Going through this world, off and traveling. And I done seen some things. Before I've learned my lessons. And so you really need good clarity in your mix there. So people can make out what the lyrics are. Um, if the vocal in the full mix is sounding a little bit uh, thin, around 700 hertz is going to give it more of the impression of a fuller sound while still giving you detail. Um, if we go down lower, Here we, well, we kind of get a boxy sound. And now there's not much going on down here, but that doesn't mean this isn't important. Here we are, well I'm off again Going through this world, off and traveling And I done seen some things Can add a lot of depth, having a little bit of a bump just down there before it rolls off. And the boxy frequencies we can take out. Here we are, well I'm off again Going through this world, off and traveling I done seen some things. Now we're really accenting the sibling stare. Here we are, well I'm off again. Going through this world, off and traveling. And so it might be a good idea to use a de -esser. Um We can use the standard Pro Tools de -esser. Here we are. And I done seen some things Before I've learned my lesson 
So this is just a frequency dependent compressor. Uh, it's basically a one band that we can choose um, what frequency range is being compressed. And because it's a de it's to reduce s sounds, so it's high frequencies. Here we are, well I'm off again. Going through this world, off and traveling. And I done seen some things. So let's have a, have a listen to seen some things. And I done seen some things. And I done seen some things. So it reduces a little bit. And uh, we can also use multiband compressors, like the multiband from FabFilter. And just set it up as a de -esser. And I done seen some things. 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 Turn thing. on our compressors. And I done seen some things. And I done seen some things. So that's the lead vocal in. Okay, so see you in the next video.